In this video, I'm going to show you a few little tricks about how you can make a nice printed layout and label some of the features in a map uh, in case you wanted to make a nice presentation quality map. And basically, just I'll show you some things to click around here um, and basically how things work. And by clicking around and, and editing things, you can figure out things on your own quite a bit. But let me show you a couple of tricks. Uh, first of all, let me show you the print layout window. Go to project and then um, print. And that's not actually going to print. What it's going to do is open up a print layout window. So let me maximize this so that we can see what we're doing and zoom in here a little bit. And whenever you open up this print layout window, it automatically puts a little map the legend, the map window logo. This title here is based on um, the name that I saved the map window file as, and a north arrow, a created date, and a scale bar here. Now, if you want to edit or get rid of any of these features, look over here on the right-hand side. As we click on these various parts of this map layout, we see a little dotted line appear. So I clicked on map one and a little dotted line appears around the map. So now if we want to click on it and move it around a little bit or adjust the size, we can do that. So um, also if we wanted to get rid of this title or edit the title, we can go to the project name and you see the little dotted line um, around here. If we wanted to change the text in there, down over on the right hand side there's a little box that says text. You can click on the down arrow here and it has that text, Berkey Academy Intro to GIS. That's just what I named this, this map window file and we can change that into something like, I don't know, um, project one, something like that, and then the title will change. And we can, again, we can move that around. We can change the font. Here it says font is Arial Black 27.75 points. I'll click this little uh, plus arrow so we can see more options here. And we can click on any of these options and it gives us a little drop down box. So we could change the font type. Oh, I don't know, I'll just choose something right random here, and we can choose the size, and we can choose whether it's italic or, or whatever else. So, um, by changing these options, pretty easy. Also, you can click and you can resize the text box window here, and again, we can move it around and, and other things. We can get rid of the map window logo, so if you want to get rid of something, click on that item map window logo and then we can click the little red X and get rid of that and we can move the legend around Oop, clicked on the wrong thing so uh, click on the legend box here and we can move it around we can resize the box that contains it etc um, we also might or might not want this created on date here again we can just say date created X and that will get rid of that part so that's, that's one set of things that you can do. And then if you want to save this uh, layout window or choose a printer to print it as a, a PDF or print it to a color printer, you can do that. Now I'm just going to close this layout window right now, hitting the red X. You can save the layout to open it up later if you want. Um, okay, I guess I'll save it. Um, and you can give it a name here. So... I'll just save it on my desktop. Layout one. So now we're back at our original um, map that we were working on last time with the median income of the states displayed in, in various colors here. Suppose you wanted to label the states uh, with the state abbreviation, for example. How could you do that? Um, there's a few different ways you can do it. Uh, one way we can do it is to, again, I like the right-click interface here, right-click on the layer that you want to label, Properties, 
and we can go to labels. Now when we're here, uh, you can click the setup button to set up how you want things to be labeled. And basically you're going to choose one of these database fields to label it. We could label it with the median income, the state abbreviation, the entire state name. I'm going to choose the state field, which is a state abbreviation, and double click it. And that will add the state in this expression box. And what this expression box up here is using is an SQL, that's or SQL, some people pronounce it, uh, using a SQL database code. A lot of the things you do in maps are, are tightly aligned with uh, databases. This is, uh, basically just creates a database code where you, we could combine several things if we wanted to um, to label with. I'm just going to do a simple by double clicking it adds the state field there and we can hit apply. Where do we want the state label? In the center, the centroid, an interior point. Um, we're just going to use the centroid, which is basically the center of mass. OK. This takes a little while to do because what, um, what Map Window is doing right now is calculating the center of mass for each of the states. OK. And figuring out where do we, where should we put the label um, inside each state. Now you see that some of these are um, pretty close together or overlapping in some places, and you might need to to edit that a little bit to to fix that. So that's another little um, trick that you might want to use. Now that we have these labeled, if we go back and we open up a new print window the map that we see in the print window is going to have those labels um, that we wanted. Here we go, sorry. I grabbed the wrong thing. All right, let me just do it this way. So we can maximize it, and then we can edit this the way we were doing before. So play around with some of these options and, and usually you'll be able to find what you're looking for to create a, a good looking map that you can customize.